Hey guys, it's Richard from Grafting Dragon Fruit. Today's the day that we've all been waiting for, especially me. If you guys remember from my last episode of How to Graft a Dragon Fruit Seedling, that was when I was showing you guys when I was pollinating the dragon fruit. So that was about 100 to 104 days ago. And now the Ecuador Polar are finally turning yellow and I think they're ready to be harvested today. So what I'm gonna be doing today is harvest, harvesting these Ecuador Polar yellow dragon fruits, cut them up, show you guys the brickness score, so see how sweet they are how it tastes and see how this product came out. So this was grafted from a seedling two years ago and I finally have ripe fruit. And this was from a tiny seedling that I sprouted from a market. So this is like super exciting to me. Been waiting for this project to complete for the longest time. This is probably gonna be the last episode of our Ecuador Polar Graft and Dragon Fruit Seedling episode, but we can finally get to eat the fruit and that's everything that we worked so hard for. So let's go ahead, show you guys some of the fruits that's ready. And then I'm gonna show you guys what happened to my fruits and then we're gonna harvest and then have a taste. So let me go ahead, put on some gloves, get some cutters out, and then we can start harvesting. Okay, so let's talk about the Ecuador Polora fruit that are ripe. So here they are. So you guys see that they are mostly 85 to 90% green. You guys see some scarring on this. This is because I think the Ecuador Polora fruit is so sweet. The pests and bugs and ants, mainly thrips have been biting at this. So when I started noticing that, I went ahead and got some Monterey insect spray, sprayed it, and got control of it right away. And if I didn't do that, it would have been really bad like this one right here. But luckily, it only got some of my fruits and most of them look really good. So I'm still very excited. And it's about November 30th. It's going to be December tomorrow. And I still have a lot of Ecuador Polora that just bloomed and I pollinated them and so let's see how they would go through the winter and I'll keep you guys updated to see how they go through the winter if they survive and if they're gonna actually turn yellow and become a nice big fruit like all of these other Ecuador Polaris that I have here all right so let's go ahead and harvest some there is one deep in here that I would like to get let me grab my gloves so make sure you guys have some gloves when you guys are harvesting this uh, variety because they do have spikes on them, but don't be worried because once you kind of brush it like this, they fall off right away. You guys see the spikes right here? Look, they come right off. Okay, so this is the one that looks the best to me. This is the one I want to showcase you guys, cut open and eat and show you guys what this Echo Polora looks like inside and uh, let's see if it's true to parents and if it tastes the same. They all look very like the Echo Polora. Now we just got to taste it and see what it's like. So here's the one I'm going to harvest today. It is beautiful. I'm going to cut it with a little bit of the branch on. And here we have it, you guys. This is the Echo Polora that was grafted from a seedling and now we have fruit. And you guys see there's a lot of spikes on it but you can tell i'm kind of brushing off and they come right off okay so here it is beautiful beautiful ecuador polar fruit we're gonna go ahead and go and check out all these other ones harvest the rest and then we'll cut this open okay so that has been 104 days so about 90 days, 90 days, that's about three months from the day that I pollinated it with its own pollen. So it's self-fertile. We confirmed that. And it took 90 days for it to actually start to turn yellow. So at 90 days, it looked like this. It was green, very yellow. So I wanted it to be more yellow, but you know, the weather's getting cooler. So it starts to get a little bit harder for the fruits to ripe quicker. So I just waited an extra... 10 days in my case i waited 14 days for this one so this is what it looks like for 104 days and i am in orange county southern california and it doesn't look too bad so i would say 95 percent yellow just a little bit of green left but still looks really good really cool to have one of these ecuador peloras growing in your own garden okay so i'm gonna go ahead and just harvest more fruit then we're gonna go ahead and get into the tasting okay so i'm gonna move pretty quick here so well, we can go ahead and get into the fruit. Cause I know you guys all want to see that. Really cool. Like look very prickly guys. So be very careful. That's why I'm wearing gloves. Normally I would harvest dragon fruit without the gloves, but today I need it. Here 
here's another one. So this one really got damaged by the thrips. They really like to eat at that skin. And uh, okay, I think we are ready to go ahead and cut one open. And uh, let's see how this tastes. I'm gonna go get a knife and I'll be right back. Okay, we are back with our knife. Now let's go ahead and uh, do the brick score and get a taste. So let's go ahead and just move these to the side. We're gonna focus mainly on this one right here. Okay, you guys. So here it is. This is the one that we're gonna be opening. It's the Ecuador Polora Yellow Dragon Fruit. This is two years from a seedling grafted onto a mature rootstock. Now, the moments of truth. Let's see how it looks inside. Do you think it will have big seeds just like its original? You guys ready? Here we go. Wow. So, flesh-wise, it looks exactly just like the Ecuador Polora, so it's true to parents. The only thing left now is to see how it tastes. But before we do that, let me go ahead and get a brick score and then we'll see how it is. Hopefully it's in the 1920. But again, this is my first time having fruit from this one. So I don't know how sweet it is. But let's let me go get a spoon. You guys know I like to use my garlic presser. This is my favorite thing to extract juice from. It smells so sweet, just like the Ecuador Polora. Texture is pretty firm, very juicy. Let's throw that in there. Seeds are big, just like the original that I've always seen. Let's go ahead and get some juices. And you guys saw how easy and quick that was to get the, that juice in there. And let's see. 20.6 wow you guys 20.6 is so sweet and this is the first time i've ever had fruit from this uh variety here this is the first time it ever fruited and the the, the brick score is so high 20 is very sweet you guys so i'm expecting to bite bite into crystallized sugar and honey flavors once i eat this all right this is so exciting you guys you guys i'm just as you can see, I'm like a kid in a candy store with this variety. This is my favorite variety of dragon fruit to eat. It is just so good, so sweet, and you know, it's so easy to eat. I can eat so many of these. Okay, I'm gonna eat the one that I already kind of messed up. Here it is, the Ecuador Polora. And I've eaten a lot of Ecuador Poloras during my time of eating dragon fruit, so I will definitely know if it's gonna be true or not, okay? So here it goes, guys, moment of truth. Let's get a drum roll. And two thumbs up. You guys, this is so sweet. It tastes just like the Ecuador Polaris that I buy in the market. I am so happy right now, you guys. Wow. Now that I have the Ecuador Polora and I know that it tastes good, I can finally offer you guys these cuttings and varieties in my website once it's finished. It's going to be called graftingdragonfruits.com. And wow, this is astonishing. Mmm. It's so sweet, you guys. There's no tart. It tastes just like honey, crystallized sugar. I love how the seeds are really crunchy. Mmm. This is amazing. Wow. So where that's what we have here, you guys. Here we have it. The Ecuador Polora grown from a seed grafted on it to a mature rootstock it took me two years to finally harvest fruits from it and i can just say i am not disappointed at all this has met my expectation and exceeded 20.6 for the brick score this is definitely a keeper 
I'm so happy, you guys. Okay. Well, that's how you guys are going to be grafting dragon fruits and that is why we grab dragon fruit seedlings so you guys can get to this point and have this fruit that's not even here in america yet but now i have it and of course i'm going to be sharing with you guys so thank you for following along this awesome episode of grafting dragon fruit seedlings we finally made it to the very end we have fruit we tried it and it's good so it's a wrap you guys all right if you guys thought this video was helpful or very cool to watch please hit the like button if you guys have any questions of what i did here today or the ecuador polar fruits or the grafting leave it in the comments below and i'll get back to you guys as soon as i can and if you guys want to see more grafting and dragon fruit videos of mine go ahead and hit the subscribe button so that way you guys will not miss a single thing have a wonderful day now bye guys